In this video, we're going to learn about the different types of instruments and how they produce sound. As you can see in the picture here, we have a large orchestra made up of many different types of instruments. Up here in the front, we have the string section, and this is the largest part of the orchestra. And then behind them, we have the woodwind section. And then back in the corner over here, we have the brass section. And finally, in the corner over here, we have the percussion section. So these instruments can be classified into four basic types. The first type is called strings. These include instruments like the cello, violin, guitar, bass, and many more. What makes a stringed instrument what it is, is, well, just what the name implies. The instruments have strings. Now a long time ago, the strings on the instruments used to be made out of sheep intestines in what was known as cat gut. But today that's hardly done anymore. Most strings today are made out of either a steel core or some kind of stranded synthetic core of various metals. The pitches on stringed instruments are changed by holding down the string at different places on what's known as the fret. So for example, on this guitar here, if you were to hold down the string right here, that would cause the vibrating string to become shorter and this would make the pitch go up. So as you shorten the length of the string, the pitch goes up. And as you lengthen of the vibrating string, then the pitch goes down. Stringed instruments are typically the largest section in an orchestra. And this is primarily because they are much quieter than the other types of instruments. So if you're playing as an orchestra, or, or some kind of large ensemble, you're going to need a large group of them. The next class of instruments are called woodwinds. If you participated in our previous course, Build Your Own Sound Amplifier, you actually made a simple woodwind instrument when you made the straw and the glass of water. Typical woodwind instruments include clarinets, oboes, saxophones, and flutes. And you may be familiar with the recorder. This is a common, cheap instrument that is often used in music classes. Now woodwinds rely either on reeds, such as here on the oboe, or a narrow airstream vibrating over a sharp edge, such as here on the flute. Now reed instruments use small rectangle pieces made from either plastic, wood, or metal. And these reeds vibrate very quickly when air is blown into them, and this is what creates a sound. The pitch in woodwind instruments is typically changed by pushing down the various valves that are found all along the length of the instrument. These valves, when they're pushed down, either lengthen or shorten the path of the airstream. And like with the stringed instruments, that's what causes the pitch to change. 
The third type of instruments are called brass. This name used to refer to the metal that the instruments were made out of. Nowadays, though, brass instruments can be made out of other kinds of metal as well. Brass instruments include instruments like the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, and the tuba. Brass instruments are played through a mouthpiece shaped like a small funnel. They vary in size and shape depending on the instrument. The mouthpiece is pressed up against the player's lips, and then when they blow the air, the air flows through a tubular section. which leads to a bell end. Most brass instruments use valves to help the player change pitches. The trombone, however, uses a slide. Finally, we are left with the percussion section. This is the largest and most varied section. Typical percussion instruments you would find in an orchestra are the cymbals, snare drum, bass drum, triangle, tambourine, and tympani. A percussion instrument is basically anything that can be struck, beaten with a stick or a hammer, scraped, or shaken. Well, at least that is, it's supposed to be. I don't think a violinist would appreciate you hitting their instrument with a hammer. Now the sound on percussion instruments is a very direct transfer of energy. The player actually hits the instrument itself, such as the head on a drum, and it vibrates. Drums and cymbals do not produce what we typically consider pitches, but other instruments, such as the bell set, xylophone, vibraphone, or marimba, do produce pitches. An interesting thing to note, a piano is often considered a percussion instrument, even though most percussionists are terrible pianists, Nevertheless, pianos produce their sound by striking the strings with small hammers attached to the keys. Wait, so is it a percussion or a string instrument? It can get a little confusing. Another example of an instrument that is difficult to classify is the electric guitar. It is a stringed instrument, but the sound is actually produced by electricity not the actual strumming of the strings. If you were to unplug an electric guitar, you would barely be able to hear it. It's for this reason that some people create a fifth category for these types of instruments, electric. This would also include electric keyboards, as well as a variety of other kinds of non-traditional instruments. So classifying instruments allows us to understand their differences more clearly and helps us to appreciate the diversity of ways sound and music can be produced. Thankfully, living creatures, like instruments, don't always fit neatly into categories. This should remind us of the great creativity of the Creator, which to a lesser degree He has built into us.